Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World Waves 3 as Germany episode number 35. And we already know what we're getting into because we left off the last episode on this big battle. No idea, hey, this could be a total bust, you know, we could be like, we don't even, fleets don't even make contact, we go to port, I highly suspect that's not going to be the case, but it's like a possibility. I also, as you can see here before I started recording, was trying to like get a very bird's eye admiral's view of of all my ships here there's too many destroyers to really care about and i don't really care about destroyers anyway but the battleships are a little bit weird because this guy's going off into la la land what is the what's the later wrong doing here anyway we're at zero minutes out of zero i mean out of 800 technically but we haven't started the battles what i'm trying to say let's move forward and i can't control this guy yet why in the heck is he doing that so only one battle cruiser joined in. I'm a little disappointed by that. At least we have one. But uh, okay, well, there's any hope of avoiding battle, which is, <laughs> I, know, I know people are dying to see a big battle here. Probably very excited about this, but I am terrified. We have like nothing to gain here. If we win this decisively without losing a single ship, it will mean that our victory point advantage gets a little bit bigger. You know, it's just, it's, I have nothing to gain from this. <laughs> so that from a, like a gameplay perspective, from a war perspective, I think even realistically, in a land battle between, I mean, in a battle, which would mostly be fought on land between Germany and France, Admiral Tortorpitz has nothing to gain from this engagement. But that's, that's fine. We're going to fight it anyway. That's just the, the way it's going to go. All right, at least I can control you and bring you back under the fold. So the way I want it is, I want this division to lead. This is just too many damn destroyers. Kind of wish I could set everyone's starting thing to line ahead. And they can be screen and still be in line ahead. I don't know why I change it. I think that they can be screen and still line ahead. Yeah. Uh, I just didn't kind of instinctively change them to, to support role. I just don't want anybody in screen. I mean, th what they think of as screen, it makes sense, but the way this game works, I just feel like the screen formation is very ineffective. Um, it's useful when you don't know where the enemy is or when you, I don't know. I mean, it's useful, probably it's more useful in real life when you don't have a bird's eye view of the action, which we do. I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to figure out when, when why screen, <laughs> the screen formation is used. And having not thought about it before I opened my mouth, that puts me in a very precarious position that it's probably going to be pretty obvious very quickly that I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, uh, yeah, so let's, um, let's see what we're up against so far. We have no identifications. Okay, we have a armored cruiser, battle cruiser, something off um, by Vermont, Von Mercatz, and he is engaging with their six three and 13 inch guns pretty potent and this thing can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with battleships she's very lightly armed in terms of only having six guns but besides that she has good armor for a battle cruiser which is the way of germany first of all <laughs> their battle cruisers were famously during world war one time period the over um undergunned versus the british tactic of under armoring and I don't know, which is the best? Oh boy, that's not. In fact, you you just rotated your ship. That's how committed you are to that turn. <laughs> you just made a, a 90, I wish we had that kind of technology. Spoiler alert, we don't. That's probably, I, th I think we're still looking at The skirmishing line. I do like it oh, so much better when the destroyers are in line I, line ahead. I can actually figure out who's where. Otherwise, it's just a cluster foxtrot of, of different ships all over the place. Started to rain, so you know weather operations will be limited. That's going to dampen the spirits of the German Air Force, of which we don't have. So, I guess this could be considered a, an aggressive scouting push.
I'm pretty content not to engage this. I know that, uh, again, people want to see the action. They want me to roll the die. And hey, if you were, I, don't, I mean, I don't want to make analogies which are too crude, but yeah, I mean, you, when you come to watch a show, you want to see entertainment. When you're watching a StarCraft game, competitive StarCraft 2 game, as I sometimes do, you want to see the two big armies collide. You don't want to see some kind of economic victory or whatever, where some guy's just GG's, ends the game because he knows he can't win, and you know you didn't even get to see the fight. But they, they realized that that was the way it was. That's kind of the situation we're in here. We have already won, whether or not France has uh, GG'd. They haven't, spoiler alert, because we're still fighting, right? Okay, here's their battle line coming down. How do I want to deal with this? Vision is limited a little bit, but not enough that I feel comfortable just really tossing my destroyers in there. I don't know, I don't know. This thing has such a high top speed too, it's crazy. Let's get him up to 18. I think that the Von Mercats will be better in a pursuit role, like later on as cleaning up. I'm gonna, even though she may have the largest guns on the field for us. Now we do have the, okay, yeah, we do have the uh, Vorpalmers, which have 13 inch guns as well. 12 inch, 11, 12, okay. So they are the largest guns on the battlefield, just not the only ones of 13 inches. I mean, this is such an aggressive push by the, the French. I feel like our response should be to force them not to just do that. Okay, they're, it's very chaotic. Let's see what we identify. No, that's a destroyer. Don't care about that. This is fascinating. I think I want to get the destroyers. It's kind of hard to do the, just the destroyers without bringing up other people. But torpedo range is definitely long enough. We might have gotten even pretty lucky with torpedo range. That seems pretty long to me. Yeah, I think we have a pretty good torpedo range for the era. Let's just get a, a few of our destroyers on the who are already on this side up to speed so we can pretend potentially make a pass at them. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep you at 16, just turn you this way. Get you out of harm's way, but... Okay, who was that? Oh, Blitzdraka. Thinks they're going to make it be an important person. Deciding to turn towards the enemy. Not great. Probably won't be impactful in the end. Like, this is very tempting. We're gonna, sp we're gonna uh, split these guys off and rev up those engines, preparing for a pincer movement. They've kind of given it to us. We also have, uh, we've got to protect our dreadnoughts, which are making their way wantonly towards the enemy. Um, we'll get you guys up to 20. What do we have here? I wanted you guys up to 20 as well. We'll keep two divisions back. Yeah, we'll get you guys in and we'll keep the other ones back. Okay. Okay, Blistraka has healed in. They're listening to uh, orders once again. All right, what do we got going on? I haven't really been paying attention to the log. Is that because this is the first bold text? Yes. Nothing has happened until now. The first shots of the battle are awarded to the French. Landing the first hits. 
And we're pretty beefy armored cruiser bearing down on us. 14,000 tons. Not something that they'd want to lose, and we're pretty close to them. It's a little strange that they're being so aggressive. And this ship... Okay, well, we lost one port side, but we're going to make a run on that armored cruiser at the same time that all these guys are making their run. Okay, they're, um, they're turning. That's wise, by the way. What do we have here? 10, 12-inch guns. Similar configuration to ours. And then the old one, the Flandre. Well, we've seen these ships before. I think our our Vorpalmerns should should be very um, should have a good matchup against them. You know what? We might as well let rip. I don't want these guys launching torpedoes yet because they're going to do silly things like this. It's just not a good idea. So let me um, control their torpedo launching a little bit more. Not sure if I should control yours or not, but I will. Like this is just not sensible. Okay. And we might I mean we can take a swing at anybody. Torpedoes, if they miss, can go anywhere. <laughs> Probably don't need them to go all the way up to max speed yet. So that's it. I like that they have this twenty-five. Let's go down to twenty-five with these guys. Still kind of positioning, trying to figure out what we're doing. 20 on you is probably okay. You should be at max, which you are, and you should be as well. That's good. Okay, let's start swinging back into some kind of orderly configuration here. All right, now I was hoping that that would be enough of an angle that we could launch, and it is. Give them the old one, two, three. I don't think that this is a good idea. I'll launch one starboard mount that way. And then we'll just complete. Oh man, we could. Now they're going to go backwards, so that doesn't make sense. We don't need to do that. Now, whatever you can shoot at, you just should, since <laughs> you're getting you're getting hammered already. This will pull you back. No real targets of opportunity there. Oh good, these guys have a top speed of 14. I'm glad that they're in the battle. Yeah, that's good that we have this group as backup. Um, keep you guys a little bit closer. Well, I think we're doing okay. Got them. Oh my gosh. All three? That's an... Well, that's it. That's a wrap. Let's go home. <laughs> I'll take it. Dude, this is kind of insane. What is this guy doing? Are you a division of two? You are. Okay, so your new task is to shadow the Yule's Ferry over here. I don't know what she's doing. Besides getting hit. Only with six inch guns so far. Probably we're only going to train secondaries on her. With the main force still out there. But hey, already a successful run. Can't say that I really overplayed my hand there. I mean, okay, what I want to say is I think that the French made an error in uh, overreaching with that armored cruiser. And really just you know, they reached too far and they got their hand bit. So, yeah, it looks like she's a goner, too. 
I'd be perfectly content to take that and go. I doubt that that's the way it's going to happen, but it could happen that way. Yeah, I think she's turning back. We'll forget about our pursuit. A lot of destroyer fire here as well. Whew. <laughs> I suspect, okay, and wind is out of the southwest, so technically best for us to get the northeast and engage from that angle. But I, um, I mean, hey, we do have the ability to pull that, to force these guys a little bit more north. Oh, honest to goodness, I'd rather be going southeast myself. Just to move closer to port. And again, now that we have this this victory. Nighttime is approaching. It's four o'clock, so we got we have time. It's um it's June, so we have a lot of time. All that being modeled in this game. Put this guy back. Yeah, we got, I mean, we are getting clobbered a few of these hits. Let's pull the destroyers on the other side, if possible. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, we basically just want to merge them onto the other side. And, well, you know, and this game is very generous. You can just run ships right through other ships. It doesn't matter. You don't have to worry about collisions. The only thing you have to worry about is the kind of collision avoidance algorithm that's being run. You'll see ships kind of uh, almost like opp opposite, I mean, yeah, opposite polarity magnets repelling each other. Wait, opposites attract. The other way around. <laughs> did, we, did we do that? Are we through? <laughs> oh, that's a destroyer. What the heck? There we go. Yeah, I, you know what, we're kind of disengaging here too. We didn't have to, but seems like that's the way it's working out. This guy's taking some big hits. Gots is like, no, you didn't let me get into the battle. They're kind of returning though. I mean, this is a mess. What are they doing? Have this guy head to home. I don't have. You know, we don't have a port here. We can't get to that port. <laughs> we can't get there. Let's go down here. You're out. Get out of here. Are you, by the way, flooding? No, but you're. You know, not in great shape. As soon as you kind of clear the field, I'll get you to slow down. Very hard to control all these, and this is why they uh, this is why they have admiral and vice admiral or rear admirals mode. I my guess is if you were to ask the developer if he regrets putting captain's mode in the game, he would say yes. You seem to be doing pretty okay in terms of hits exchanged. At least recently. And again, I think it's fine if we just clear off. We did get the bad, the advantage that I was hoping for. The wind now favors us, although we're now also moving away from port. Yeah, so you know, plus one, minus one. So many destroyers that I haven't spent torpedoes with. All right, here they come back again. Our battle line, I think, is in pretty good shape to, to we're, we're prepared. It'd be great if the ladder rungs could just slow up a little bit. And then they can take a position behind the Blitz Dracas. Okay, here we go. Armor 11. Penetrating hole hit. 
Okay, you know, six inch guns, six inch guns, six inch guns. Finally, there we go. 13 inch hit on somebody. I think that those are the Flandres too, so they're a little weaker. And then still peppering their destroyers with gunfire. Yeah, I think it's time to make another run. Oh, Marcos, what are you doing? Get back here. We can just get on the northern side of them, we can really head them off. But if they do decide to turn early, I mean, look at we're winning the, first of all, we're winning the gun engagement. We don't need to do this. But they're also driving really, this is just not good tactical this is what you do right i mean this is how the, this is the appropriate response for battleships driving towards your battle line send your battle send your destroyers at them they're not protected they're not screened so this is kind of a, a mistake on the ai's part i don't know if they're going to drive north or south once our destroyers come into range but we have a lot of destroyers you wouldn't want to do this against a navy that's just sitting there with like god i mean this has got to be about 30 destroyers i wouldn't want to do that i mean i would I, I try to scoot back, even if it's battleships coming at me. I don't want to get hit by any torpedoes. Probably it is time for us to kick up the speed a little bit, though. So let's go up to 17 here. Um, 18 maybe here. And then your speed is going to be... Uh, well, you, we need you slow enough for the moment, just so you can... Squad max is 13. <laughs> well, no, stay at 14. Just pretend probably get these guys to just go home. Oh, uh, they are turning south, and I, I didn't have the positioning for that, so we're going to have to call these guys back again. Like, you might still be able to get in there, but not you guys. You can go down to 20, head south, probably fill in the gaps when we're going to start to have some gaps. Uh, I like the idea of rolling over the top, though, so we'll start doing that. These guys up to 20, come a little closer. Good, just like that. Um, uh, probably again, just close the gap a little bit. Who, wow, what the heck? Mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. One destroyer, I'll take it. It's, could be worse. And you, at this point, you know, if, they, if they're gonna pursue you, you know, just, that's the way it's gonna go. You're outside of sight range though, so I think you're okay. All right, they are making their turn. Uh, we still have time. We can just get there. Get there, get there, get there. They're making their turn right into us, though. It's very funny. Drive a little bit harder. I mean, we're just smoking them, man. 12-inch guns, two 12-inch guns, six-inch guns. Oh, we did get a pass-through hit on the blitz tracker. And technically a superstructure hit. How's this shell bar limited by coal bunkers? It's been a very, very low superstructure hit. Not really, don't really understand that, but. Oh, I don't know, I can't imagine it at least. It's probably possible if I could. Yeah, this may not work, but they do have um, a second group of Flandre. I think I'm going to continue a little bit longer before we wave the flag and draw the destroyers back. There's definitely two still going right at us that have not reacted yet. And these ships turning hard, I mean, it'd be hard for their gun crews to be, to be very accurate. You, I don't know about you draw you off. In fact, we'll have you head north with the group. This weird crossing pattern. Um, now, technically, if we want to aim at, uh, launch torpedoes at the front line yarns, we should have a chance of hitting the rear ones. But we don't. That's fine. Yeah, they are turning around now. 
means it's time for us to France class, short barreled. We do, we definitely have a chance here. Some of these ships are gonna take a little longer to turn around. Honest to God, they turn around way quicker than I think you could in real life. But they, they model it somewhat. It's, it's, you know, it's somewhat difficult to turn. One of these guys is heading north, so we'll just let them keep doing that. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh, which, which ones are misunderstood? That's not good. See, I just feel like that is a wonderfully dangerous launch angle. Just launch that way. We'll see what we get. Just fish for it. Could get lucky. And that's, this is a, attack run is perfectly, that's a good, perfectly acceptable thing to do is just, one, in my opinion, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, it's not an objective statement, but I think it's completely okay just to just start pouring torpedoes into the enemy line. They're all bunched up here. Let's see what we can get. Oh my god, we got in. We clobbered that guy, uh, but you, I think you must have a shot here at this mess. No, I want to wait one more minute. I know it's uh, it could be the death of us, but I want to wait one more minute for a better angle. You're not going to get a better angle than that. Not going to get a better angle than that. <laughs> God, that is a, a shot people dream about having. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, 44 seems a little better. We're letting it all rip here. Just hit whatever you can, just fire everything. And as for your second, same, same thing. Huh. Doesn't really have the angle that I was hoping for. Except for on one. Now I could just put one torpedo that way I think I'll just put one torpedo that way in case they, you know what, maybe even two. And then let's pull back hard and that'll get open up the second. Yeah, yeah, that opened up the second one's chance to fire a little bit better. Well, that's what we want, right? We just launch everything and see what hits. Um, now they're gonna have some problems in a moment here, so I, I'm gonna be even more aggressive with our 600 ton destroyers because 600 tons or less does not matter. They don't even exist. In fact, these crews, they're just, they're already reported in the registers as dead, lost at sea. <laughs> if you're on a 600 ton ship, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, whoa, sorry Hans Weber. Oh man, G39, your group. They didn't make the cut. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I'm pretty sure I only have 600 ton destroyers, so it's kind of a fruitless endeavor to find one that isn't. Anyway, we'll pull these guys back. I'll be nice. I'm a merciful uh, sacrificer of. I mean, butcher. I'm a merciful butcher. Sometimes. But this one, I feel like it might reap some rewards so let's keep going here oh my gosh we got them one only one well there's still time but you know maybe we should have stuck this one out in the meantime we are landing hits with our our big ships so things are going very well okay there we go there we go oh we're getting the spread now 
Okay. Yeah, I think that it is advisable for us to kind of attack. If we can do it in a way which doesn't endanger our ships. They're going to have a lot of ships in a moment who are not going to be able to move very fast. That's another thing to consider. Oh, this is a light cruiser division. Whoops. You guys can shoot at destroyers. Destroyers can move in. I feel like the battle's already won. It could change, but at least the, the probabilistic trajectory is certainly towards victory at this point. Yeah, and we're coming in again. Very good. This S-19 is actually going to get some good launches in here. One more minute. Uh, it kind of had some weird stuff going on. See what we can get done still. No, that's not the one I want. These are the ones I want. Just gonna put a lot down there, and again, we'll just see what hits. Cause uh, actually, I don't know if um, S19 is gonna make it. So let me switch over to line abreast. Turn together, not AI control. <laughs> Go as fast as you can still. Okay, we're they're pivoting south, but guess what? We got we have a we got a plan for that too. Might not even be a bad idea. Just I mean, this thing is right here. They hit this Cataline or Cadenat. Ship mine of fire. Is that true for all things? It's kind of true, so, well, can launch down here though. How about this one? See, that's funny that that's not considered a line of fire. I mean, hey, I'll launch a port side that way. See what we can scare. And this one seems like it could be a good thing. I don't think she's gonna go that way, my friend. I think she's gonna continue to curl west. And to me, it seems obvious that that's the situation, but maybe not to them. I'd level like a, a 180 here. That would be a little more appropriate. Because I'm not, I'm not seeing that even. I'm not even going to launch that torpedo. I'm pretty sure that it's not going to hit. That's just because I have the... I'm blessed with the ability to look at the, the way things are going and probably guess a little bit better. But hey, you know what? That same arc is exactly what we're launching at this Bjarn, so. I mean, 177 is not quite as bad. I think I'm still better off aiming at this guy. All right, we'll just keep going here. S19 is sinking. Well, you know what? She's not sinking until I say she's sunk. Oh, she definitely is sinking, but we'll see if we can get any more torpedoes off. Probably not. This would be a maybe the best situation. Well, she got a lot of her torpedoes off already, so we're happy about that. Okay, let's um excuse me, allow me allow you to launch torpedoes as you would like. In fact, we'll go back to line ahead, turn together, turn together off, I should say. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, that looks good. Let me not neglect the rest of my fleet. A lot of fun going on with these destroyers and a lot of micromanagement required too, but I think these guys got away clean. I love it. With their damage, they're probably destined for port. Plenty of destroyers who haven't even seen the battle yet. Oh, 
I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was a good launch. Oh, that was a good launch. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I mean, maybe this is the right time to even pull away. Ooh, the Hans Weber's getting, getting smashed. I doubt with her vertical northerly direction heading um, that she's going to have the ability to launch anything. Maybe at this... There we go. Oh, that one's still... Oh, it's starboard. Okay. That explains it. Well, hey, I mean, if we could land some hits on the Normandy, she's an old battleship. She'd probably go right to the bottom. That looks like the angle that we have right now. The best... Um, best shot that we would have. So, we've expended all our torpedoes. Except for the starboard side. So, you know what, we've got to switch on over to the starboard side. That's fine. Just head south and probably, you know what, your, your mission might be just done at this point. Even this destroyer run seems a little bit unnecessary. Maybe a little bit dangerous. <laughs> well, a little bit. Unnecessarily dangerous. Which, you know, you could describe a lot of my destroyer launches as, I mean, my destroyer attacks as unnecessarily dangerous. Right, we do have the France right here. I, I think we kind of already got what we came for, too. We have at least, we hit with a, several of these guys with torpedoes. Did they li launch mines? Yeah, we still have a bunch of mines. I don't think the battle, it's only 800 in total, so unless we maintain contact, I doubt they'll get back to those mines um, before the scenario ends. Um, although this group is just two of them, they could continue and put a lot of pressure on the battleships to continue um, turning south. Like you're a goner. But look at that. Do you have that angle? What do we got? What do we got? Because of this France class here, we're not at the right angle. Center line. Okay, no, no. We only have starboard. Only starboard left. So come in and let make your launch. You're going to have to do the same thing. I think that you might even turn this way. Because if, if she continues to go east, she's going to run into other... She's going to have other, pro other problems. This... Should probably be a turn together situation at this point. We're starting to take hits. And I guess we'll just launch whatever we can into the fray. See what happens. There's still like torpedoes coming in and out, going everywhere. She is really not going to stop turning. Hmm. And yeah, G39's. If she has any uh, ability to launch at this point, like what's this guy doing? You've already launched every single one of your torpedoes. Well, then you're a hero. <laughs> You've already done your job for, for king and country, for emperor and empire. Well, yeah, that one's catchy, isn't it? King Country may be, may be a little better. We'll work on it. I haven't prepared the propaganda slides. Now, someone else was actually royally messed up in this group. That's G41. Wow, you're really royally messed up. Um, as long as we're going this direction, G41 should have a chance to do something else before 
Oh wow, you actually have a shot though. I like the idea of just smashing some random dispersion of torpedoes that way. Just in case you don't survive. Oh my goodness, she's turning into us. Unexpected. No, we might have to wait for her to make her turn. Let's go in. We're going in. Um, I forgot about some. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is going on? Oh my gosh. Did she ram? Did she ram? She has no torpedoes. Did she launch them? What happened? It's a brave Normandy. Just going to cut right through my ship. Alright. Hans Weber torpedo to hit. Maybe that's why we can't launch. Because they were destroyed. Okay. G39. What's your deal? You're sinking. That's, that's, a, that's quite a deal. Um. But you do have, don't have, do, don't, don't. Oh, wow. This guy's still going. I'd love to get a hit on her, so I'm just going to lay it on thick. When you got a shot like this, I feel like just take it. V3, at this point, you should also do the same thing against that one. Yes. Just launch. Whatever you get, you get. We're in the business of just launching a bunch of torpedoes and getting out. I might even preserve a few more ships that this way if I, if I play my cards right. Oh, no. What, wait, you should have been launching at the Normandy. Why, why didn't you launch at the Normandy? Oh, you're ding dong rudder jam starboard. <laughs> okay, that explains it. Um, what do we need to do here? Control a lot of ships' movements. Otherwise, things are going okay. You guys are like only have starboard stuff left. I think I remember. What's your squad max? 19. Okay, come down to like 10. And head to port. You're done. Good job. Mission accomplished. Go home. Ah, got her. Got her. Two torpedoes. This has the makings of a big battle. Big result here. Starting to trim their numbers, that's for sure. I mean, they have a ton of ships, too. It didn't have to be like this. I don't know why this battle was even being fought. Hmm. Well, anyways, that's a good point to call this one to a close here. After some really good success in the early battle... Well, this is probably the mid-battle already. Uh, I don't know. We could have a re-engagement where we line up with the guns and just start blasting each other again. I don't see it happening. Just the chaos is just too much at this point. But it could, it could. I mean, at least at this point, I think we've done a very good job of damage. I mean, this is, from a victory point standpoint, fantastic. We've done a very good job. But until the next one, we'll have to leave it here. Thanks for watching, and take care.